Um, well, I don't think that, that anything is inevitable to come after capitalism. Um, I think there's a lot of different possibilities there. Um, and, and some of those possibilities uh, are really exciting uh, and really beautiful, and some of those po possibilities are really scary and really ugly. Um, and, and I don't think either is inevitable. Um, you know, I think it's certainly possible, I mean, arguably we're already post-capitalist um, in that we no longer have competitive markets. Um, it, it, like from sort of an Adam Smith perspective of, uh, of competitive markets being the defining factor of, of capitalism, um, you know, we no longer have that. Um, really anywhere in our in in the United States economy, um, and and we've already mo moved towards sort of a, a corporate nationalism, um, where where the biggest players uh, in our markets um, are interconnected with uh, governmental and political forces, um, and they use that political advantage um, as a market advantage. Um, so we're already in the process of, of, uh, of repl replacing capitalism with corporate nationalism. Um, and, and continuing down that path, I think, uh, is one of those scary, ugly futures um, that leads to uh, an increased concentration of power um, and um, an increased exploitation um, of sort of dealing with um, dealing with uncertainty by um, an increasingly strong centralized control, um, which is certainly a possibility. Um, but I think we also have the, the very real alternative of, of going down a very different path of uh, diversification of our economy uh, and diversification of, of wealth, of resources, and, and political power as well. Um, because I think they're all interconnected. Um, and, and I think in, in that sort of scenario, we can, we can replace uh, capitalism uh, with, with localized economies um, and, and with uh, democratic participation um, in our economies and um, more democratic structures, uh, whether they be worker-owned enterprises or uh, cooperatives and um, and those sort of, e of cooperative economic models. Um, and, and I think that's kind of the, the choice that we face, either between um, replacing capitalism with, um, with models based on control or models based on uh, cooperation. Um, you know, capitalism can be seen as a model based on competition. Um, and, and that model's kind of um, coming to a close, I think, um, for a variety of reasons, that it's running up against some of its own limits. Um, and so we can replace that model either with uh, a model based on force or a model based on cooperation. Um, and and, and that, that choice to me is very stark um, and, and impacts everything else about our society, whether we turn towards control or turn towards cooperation. Um, and, and that to me is part of why activism right now uh, is so vitally important uh, because um, we face two very divergent roads right now. Um, and to me it's really important that we choose that path of cooperation.